Asking the same thing. I feel so dizzy. You're hot. Your fever's back. Do you think maybe I'm relaxed? Why didn't you tell me about it? I didn't I feel realize. That. Get your medicine. There's only a few of these tablets left. This morning. What about later this afternoon, huh? Maybe this evening. You could easily have a relapse of all that stuff we were going through the other day. You're overreacting. No, I think of it as cautious. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, well, there's something my brother can do about it. I'm heading to the hospital. No. No, Frisco, don't go. Don't Look, no arguments, you understand? Now, you be a good girl, and you take your medicine on time. No, shh. No, stay warm, you got it? No, I don't want you to go, please, not yet. I don't want you to go. You need the medicine. We still got pills. Well, those are going to last for maybe two hours. I don't want you to leave. Please just stay here. I don't want you to go. Nothing is going to happen. I think there is. Every time you leave, I get the feeling that you're not going to come back. Oh, that's crazy. I know. I told you that I was going to take care of you. Didn't I? Hmm? I gave you my word, and I'm not the kind of guy that goes back on something like that. I feel better, though. My head's cooler feel. That's because of the pills. Yes. You don't have to go into Tony every time I sneeze. A fever is a lot more serious than a sneeze. But Tony said I was getting better. You heard him. His exact words were... Out of danger, I believe. Well, there's always a chance of a relapse, and I don't want to be responsible for you going back into that hospital, you understand? You're not safe there anyway, you know that. There's no reason to jump to conclusions. I just want you to get better, kid. I realize that. Well, if you realize it, then why don't you want me to help you? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I told you, I don't want you to go. Because you don't think I'm going to come back. That, there's that's ridiculous. There's more than that. What? It's like you just want to get away from me. Get away? What do you mean? I can't help it. I just get the feeling that you do anything to get away from me. It's this place is tough to be in here. It's, it's so coopy. You know, cooped up in it. Well, I don't remember complaining. You don't have to. I can see it in your face. You can't see anything. Now your eyes are all glazed. You're looking in circles. You can barely even stand up. Why I need you here with me and not out there with everyone else. Now you listen to me. I'm only going to say this once. I'm not going to desert you. I just want to see you get better. Now will you please believe me and let me help you, okay? I don't want you to I'll be back in an hour. One hour. I promise. Put your blanket up. some more medicine for Patty. Her 
fever's back in them. We're out of medicine. Okay, I see. I need your help. So what else besides the fever? Isn't that enough for you? I'm trying to evaluate her condition before I prescribe some more drugs. She's got a fever. Hell, I'm not a doctor. I don't know, okay? Is she delirious? No, I mean, she understands when I'm talking to her. So she's talking. Is she making sense? She's making a hell of a lot more sense than these questions are. What about her eyes? Blue. Are they cloudy? Are they glazed over like they were before? A little bit. Better or worse than before? I don't know. I guess better. It's the fever. That's the thing. What about her know. leg? Is there any pain? None that she mentioned. Now, see, that's good. It is? Yeah. If her leg doesn't hurt, then any fluctuation in the temperature isn't going to matter. So it's normal. It's to be expected, but I'm going to warn you, once we get her fever down, we've got to keep it there. Well, first we have to get it down. All right, all right. I'm going to write you a refill order on this prescription. It should break the fever immediately, and if it doesn't, you call me. All right. Good. You'll be the first I call. Good. Now go get this filled. Good luck. I have a question. Okay. Tanya. Just go, go to the drugstore, get the prescription filled, all right? Get some compresses and some rubbing alcohol. Every little bit's going to help. So you're not going to tell me? I'll make you a deal, little brother. You tell me about your mystery woman, I'll tell you about mine. Fair enough? Compresses and rubbing alcohol. Right. Nurse Bridget Baum, report to clinic. Nurse Bridget Baum, report to the clinic. <clears throat> so, Tanya, what's the story, huh? Well, but didn't you ask Tony? He's very fond of games. I'm not. Ooh, you could have fooled me. So you're an item now, huh? Is that what I should expect? No, just be like me. Don't expect anything, and you won't be disappointed. So, why are you so attracted to my brother? I guess you could call it his uh, availability. All you have to do is pick up a phone. That's all you had to do. I did it for three months. Besides, I've been very busy lately. That's what I mean, availability. You can't be serious. I mean, you and my brother, I, I don't believe this. Well, I am sorry if it upsets you, Frisco. Nothing. Sorry. Not even a spark. Hello? You realize how long you were gone? Not long. You said you'd be a couple of minutes. Well, I had to go to the pharmacy. Anthony said you might be all right in just a couple days. I had to get you some more medicine. I also brought some rubbing alcohol. That's in case you wanted a back rub. I'll think about it. Right now, the medicine should be just fine. Okay, here you go. Take two. There you go. How you feeling, huh? Yeah. Oh, a little better. Did you know that there's a spider that lives up in that corner? I see him there almost every morning. I half expect him to start weaving messages in it like Charlotte. You know, like in Charlotte's of that book. Did you ever read it? No, I don't read. Try to sleep, okay? I can't. Well, if you don't try. I just want to talk. Just want to talk. I think I realize something now. What? About you. About why you've been treating me like this. How you, why you've been helping me. I think I understand now. Yeah? 
Maybe I don't. What are you talking about? Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. I thought you said you wanted to talk. The urge just left me. Are you sure you're okay? I'd just like some peace and quiet. Sorry. So am I. Must be a side effect of this medicine. What's that? Your lousy disposition. I mean, two hours ago, I was all you needed. We all make mistakes. So what was mine? Is there any way a girl can get some rest around here? I have a fever and I ache, and I really don't want to talk to you. Hey, fine with me. Hell, I'm just the bozo that's keeping you alive. Don't take too much credit. Oh. Oh, I see. Now you'd rather I just kind of, like, walked out, huh? Go ahead. I'm sure you have plenty of women waiting for you. Women? Oh, I don't really want to talk about this. It's bad enough in here as it is without all your male ego floating around. Where in the hell is this coming from? Look at this place. The walls are just closing in. Well, if you think I like it any more than you do... Do we have to talk about it? You brought it up. I'm going to end it, okay? Sure. Fine. Have it your way, baby. You always do. Hell, it's two o'clock. So? We haven't any lunch. I'm not hungry. Well, I am. Good for you. I'm going to get something to eat. An excuse to get away from me, right? Medicine, your job, anything. I mean, I'm just really getting sick of this. You are. Go get out of here. Go find yourself a chili burger and pig out. And what about you? Must I repeat everything? I'll be back. I think I might go home and cook myself some eggs. A little toast. Put some orange marmalade on it. 